in question 7 the equation of ellipse given is 36 x square plus 4 y square is equal to 144 well first we need to make the right hand side of this equation equal to 1 so as to make it look like standard form of an ellipse therefore dividing both sides of this equation by 144 we have x square over 4 plus y square over 36 is equal to 1 and now since the denominator of y square over 36 is greater than the denominator of x square over 4 so we can say that the major axis of this ellipse is along y axis since the denominator of denominator of y square over 36 is greater than greater than the denominator of denominator of x square over 4 so the major axis major axis of this ellipse is along the y axis so on comparing the given equation on comparing the given equation with the standard form with the standard form of an ellipse whose major axis is along the y axis that is x square over b square plus y square over a square is equal to 1 here we see that b square is equal to 4 and a square is equal to 36 this implies that b is equal to 2 and a is equal to 6 now using the formula c is equal to under root of a square minus b square we have c is equal to under root of 36 minus 4 this gives us c is equal to under root of 32 or this can also be written as c is equal to under root of 16 into 2 this gives us c is equal to 4 root 2 so here we have a is equal to 6 b is equal to 2 and c is equals to 4 root 2 well we know that the foci of this ellipse are at 0 comma plus minus c vertices are at 0 comma plus minus a therefore in this question foci of the ellipse are at 0 comma 4 root 2 and 0 comma minus 4 root 2 also vertices are at 0 comma 6 and 0 comma minus x length of major axis is equal to 2a that is 2 into 6 this is equal to 12 length of minor axis is equal to 2b that is 2 into 2 this is equal to 4 eccentricity is equal to c over a so substituting the values of c and a here we have 4 root 2 over 6 this is equal to 2 root 2 over 3 and finally length of lattice rectum is equal to 2 b square over a this is equal to 2 into b square is 4 over a is 6 so we have 4 upon 3 this completes our solution let us see the eighth problem in the eighth question the given equation of ellipse is 16 x square plus y square is equal to 16 so on dividing both sides of this equation both sides of this equation by 16 we have x square plus y square over 16 is equal to 1 now since the denominator of y square over 16 is greater than the denominator of x square over 1 so the major axis is along y axis since the denominator of y square over 16 is greater than is greater than the denominator of denominator of x square over 1 so the major axis the major axis is along 
the y axis so on comparing the given equation with the standard form of an ellipse whose major axis is along x axis that is x square over b square plus y square over a square is equal to 1 here we see that a square is equal to 16 and b square is equal to 1 this implies that a is equal to 4 and b is equals to 1 and now using the formula c is equal to under root of a square minus b square we have c is equal to under root of 16 minus 1 this is equal to root 15 that is here we have c is equal to root 15 well we know that the foci of this ellipse are at 0 comma plus minus c vertices are at 0 comma plus minus a so in this question we have foci at 0 comma root 15 and 0 comma minus root 15 vertices are at 0 comma 4 and 0 comma minus 4 length of major axis is equal to 2a that is 2 into 4 this is equal to 8 length of minor axis is equal to 2b that is 2 into 1 this is equal to 2 eccentricity is equal to c over a so substituting the values of c and a here we have root 15 over 4 and finally length of lattice rectum is equal to 2b square over a this is equal to 2 into b square is 1 over a is 4 so this gives us 1 over 2 this completes our solution let us see the ninth problem in the ninth problem the given equation of ellipse is 4x square plus 9y square is equal to 36 so dividing both sides of this equation by 36 this can also be written as x square over 9 plus y square over 4 is equal to 1 now since the denominator of x square over 9 is larger than the denominator of y square over 4 so the major axis is along x axis since the denominator of x square over 9 is greater than greater than the denominator of the denominator of y square over 4 so the major axis of this ellipse is along the x axis and now when we compare the given equation with the standard form of an ellipse whose major axis is along x axis that is x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1 here we see that a square is equal to 9 and b square is equal to 4 this implies that a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 also we know that c is equal to under root of a square minus b square so we have under root of 9 minus 4 this is equal to 5 this implies that c is equal to root 5 well we know that the foci of this ellipse are at plus minus c comma 0 and vertices are at plus minus a comma 0 so in this question foci of the given ellipse are at root 5 comma 0 and minus root 5 comma 0 vertices are at 3 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0 length of major axis is equal to 2a that is 2 into 3 this is equal to 6 length of minor axis is equal to 2b that is 2 into 2 this is equal to 4 eccentricity is equal to c over a so on substituting the values of c and a here we have root 5 over 3 and finally length of lattice rectum is equal to 2b square over a this is equal to 2 into b square is 4 over a is 3 this gives us 8 upon 3 so this completes our solution let us see the next problem